What's up everybody, the CEO, the money maker, the one and only storm taker guys. And today I'll be ranking every single SpongeBob power up from seven to one guys. Number one is my favorite guys. Be sure to smash that button and just know that this list is my list only. If you disagree with my list, comment your list down below of your top three. But let's get on into the video, the CEO, the money maker, the one and only storm taker baby. So first off we got on the list, coming in number seven guys i'll be ranking the power up level three for each and every one of these power ups by the way guys we got the giraffe bubble guys uh what the giraffe bubbles is is your basic attack uh leaves a trail of bubbles that damage enemies at the end of the trail and explodes releasing even more bubbles guys um uh, and theory this sounds like a good ability of crowd controlling by control controlling other brawlers uh keeping them in one area blocking them off with bubbles but the bubbles do literally no damage uh 200 damage at most so so far i find this power to be quite useless with most brawlers unless uh, cause this power to be most useless uh useless with controller brawlers that much only a few control brawlers i might use this on with longer range control brawlers uh to keep enemies at bay but about damage or getting that final kill shot i don't think i'll get it with this power up so that's why i got it at number seven uh, number six we have also another one guys which is in the marksman category it is the classy clarinet you feel the music in your soul. You now shoot empowered projectiles even more often, pacing through environments, dealing more damage. So what this does is, guys, um, after a musical note or um, notes start floating around your marksman character, uh, they can now pierce their shots through environments. So like through bricks, uh, through walls, through barrels, um, um, the destroyable environments in Brawl Stars. So after you get this power up, which does after you get this power, which does happen, let's say per two shots, some of the times, um, you can now shoot through walls, but your enemies will know because of the floating music icon uh, around you. So they might move from environments. I also find this one uh, it's pretty good, but I think it's more underpowered compared to the other ones uh i think it's a, a solid ability but it's just not that flashy it won't get most most of the time people are gonna get it's gonna get canceled out by some of these other power ups guys and that's why i got it at number six number five we have i know i'm gonna get i know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me for this one but it's for the support troops and it's called the kelp sick a permanent healing aura area surrounds you healing allies charges your super using your super spawns at your super spawns a power cube all right i know guys i know sounds so amazing it is also amazing the one thing i do not like about this power up is that you cannot do any form of bush hiding or stealth anymore because your enemies will be able to see that aura so what this is guys guys you have a giant aura around you once your teammates are constantly in that aura, they will be healed around 200, 300 health periodically, guys. And you also spawn super cubes for every time you do use your super, which is also a W, guys. I love using this on Barry. I love using this on uh, Gus and all those other brawlers, guys. So it is also a W one, but I just feel like there's little more. There's the other ones uh, do a lot more for me per se. So that's why I got it at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, we got the we got the Patty Parlet also, aka the Krabby Patties for the tank troops, guys. Uh, three Krabby Patties orbits around you. When destroyed, a Krabby Patty increases the damage resistance, movement speed, and charges your super for a short time. You hear that? That's a mouthful, baby. We already these brawls are already broken, guys. These are tanks. Now you got three shields around these guys. Shields that make them move faster, charges their super, and make them take less, take less damage guys you'll be seeing examples of each and every one of, of these uh you'll be seeing examples of each and every one of these power-ups being used guys and tell me guys if these aren't broken you're blind you are absolutely bro this is one of the most broken power-ups with bb you get three shields you get to push in on enemies bam with that bat you're beating them like a mother lover all right guys we're coming in at number three we got for the throwers guys we got the pineapple 
after a shard cooldown, your basic attacks drop a pineapple that deals damage, leaves a damaging area, and then chunk explodes into damaging pineapple chunks. It's quite similar to the bubble. It does explode and release some more, but it's way better. This is why your throwers, let's say you throw dynamite, you also throw the TNT, then a pineapple lands that does anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 damage, guys. Then it spawns chunks. It doesn't get no better than that, guys. It also is crazy. It's a crazy uh, visual. Visual. Uh, it blo it block. It fills up the. There's so much visual going on. Your enemy won't even know what hit him sometimes. They'll be so distracted on what's going on because it's large. This takes up a, a bunch of the scream, guys. When you use this attack, it fools off the entire arena, baby. So they will also be distracted on what's going on in front of them. So that's why I do like this one, and I have it at number three. The number two option, guys, you already know what it was going to be because these are some of my favorite types of brawlers. It is the Assassins. And, guys, we got the Lespatula. Coming in at number, did I say number two? Number, number two, uh, the La Spatula. A spatula will periodically orbit around you. When enemies are close and low on health, your spatch, your attacks will take them down instantly. You can also get a speed boost and it becomes invisible when uh, defeating an enemy with a spatula. We got the assassination brawlers. They were already broken. Edgar was already broken. Uh, more of this was broken in so many rules, so many ways, guys. But now we're gonna even make them even more broken. We're gonna make them if your health is below 1000, you're gonna die instantly from them. They're gonna get invisible when they kill you, and they're gonna be protected when they're gonna get a speed boost when they kill you. Do I gotta explain anything more? Take a look at the clips. You've seen the clips right now, you know why this deserves a number two spot. But coming in at number one, guys. It is the appetizer, aka the chum bucket, the chum balls. Hitting an enemy gets you a chum ball, giving you a homing projectile, increased movement speed for a short period of times, and heals you. Guys, these are for brawlers that are uh, damage dealers. So imagine already getting shot by Rico, I know Rico is. And then his attacks start homing in on you, and he's healing. Bro, this will single handedly help you to push your Colt to the highest rank possible, guys. So be on the lookout for that video when I use this, guys. I'm going to show you all the power of this. You can't miss. If you miss, delete the game. All right, guys. So that's why I got this at number one. I know how good this is. This is on Mo, which uh, is uh, the newest brawler, too. We got Colt. We got so many of these guys. And now your damage is not missing. You're not missing shots, bro. You get this once, guys. You hit somebody once, this starts homing in on them. You can you can use all your attacks, and it goes straight for them. It doesn't get no more broken than that. And that's why it's the number one spot, guys. But, guys, if you don't agree with this video, all you got to do is comment down below. But if you like my taste, you might like my taste on this next video about how more it is ranking every more skin. All right? Let me know what you think. I'm out of here.